Hi there. Here is the report about what Brian Flores has seen at Alabama and LSU Pro Day. Devonta Smith surprises with roots at Alabama Pro Day. Jamar Chase dominates Pro Day as he did SEC. Subscribe and like this video now. The choice facing the Miami Dolphins next month with what to do with the number 6 overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft will not be an easy one. But the good news for Miami is that their choice is only difficult because of the slew of available talents available to them. And right now they're all looking pretty good. There is the Alabama duo of wide receivers in Devonta Smith and Jalen Waddell, both of which have established chemistry with Tua Tungavailoa. There's Penny Sewell, a top-flight offensive tackle prospect who is insanely gifted as an athlete. And then there are the two talents who lit up social media this morning, LSU wide receiver Jamar Chase and Florida tight end Kyle Pitts. Both took part in their respective pro days this morning and blew the doors off of lofty expectations. Chase posted incredible jump numbers and a faster-than-expected 40-yard dash time, reminding everyone of why he was considered the top receiver prospect for 2021 when he opted out of this past college football season. As for Pitts, what makes him so appealing is the rare blend of height, weight and speed for the tight end position, Pitts' athletic measurements are a marvel to review. And although the Dolphins do have Mike Jasicki already on the roster, there is a firm case to be made that Pitts will be the best available prospect on the board for every pick after the first one until he's drafted. Of course, Dolphins fans weren't just dialed into the numbers posted by Pitts and Chase. There's already a growing sense of anxiety for what Miami would do if the Falcons drafted Pitts at number 4 and the Bengals drafted Chase at number 5 overall. But should that reality come, the Dolphins will have no shortage of options, including Waddle, Smith or Sewell. Also a possibility? Trading down a few picks to take advantage of the remaining quarterbacks on the market in this scenario. The Carolina Panthers are rumored to want their own franchise quarterback and Miami could potentially trade back to number 8 overall and pick up extra draft capital before drafting an Alabama and Alabama pass catcher. This is how these prospects show at pro days. Devonta Smith surprises with roots at Alabama Pro Day. The Miami Dolphins have been tied to a slew of offensive draft prospects over the course of the past few months as the team gears up to make some critical decisions in the 2021 NFL Draft. It is one of the worst-kept secrets in football. The Miami Dolphins need help with their pass catchers. And with Tua Tungavailoa serving as the team's quarterback, it only makes sense that plenty of rumors around the team will be tied to the 2020 Heisman Trophy winner, Alabama W.R. Devonta Smith. But Smith's pre-draft process has been bogged down with worries about his size and stature. He attended the 2021 Senior Bowl but did not participate due to a finger injury suffered against Ohio State and eventually opted to skip the event's weigh-in, a very unusual move that drew plenty of attention to his weight and concerns about how he would handle the physicality of the NFL. And then, last week, Smith did step on the scale. And he weighed 170 pounds on the dot making him one of the smallest first-round wide receiver prospects in recent memory. But Smith still did not work out, a decision that he appeared to be ready to double down on with a second throwing session from former Crimson Tide QB Mac Jones yesterday, only to call an audible. Smith finally stepped into the pre-draft action, deciding last minute to run some routes and put his abilities on display. The flashes that followed reminded everyone quickly why Smith is considered a top wide receiver prospect. Smith. Came out here and called me this morning and was like, dude, I got you. Let's just get a couple roots in. So I was like, alright, let's adjust the script, recalled Jones in the aftermath of the session. And while many were in attendance in Tuscaloosa to watch Jones spin the ball around the field, they probably left glad to get the added bonus of watching Smith run his first roots since the first half of this past year's championship game. If that's enough to help to sell Miami or not at number 6 overall is unclear, but we'll have our answer in about 4 weeks. Jamar Chase dominates Pro Day as he did SEC. When it was over, when Jamar Chase of LSU showed why it's hard to argue with the notion he's the best receiver in the NFL draft, he made a beeline for the Dolphins contingent. At the conclusion of his eye-popping, Dazzling Pro Day in Baton Rouge on Wednesday, 
Chase shuffled over to the sideline and briefly engaged Dolphins general manager Chris Greer and co-offensive coordinator George Godsey. Could Chase be Miami's long-term solution as a top target for Tua Tungavailoa? Jamar Chase is ridiculously talented. ESPN's Todd McShay tweeted, His 41-inch vertical and 11-foot broad jump confirms the lower body explosiveness we all see on tape. I'll be shocked if he gets past Miami at number 6. Chase is 6 foot, 201 pounds and is known for his strength, physicality and toughness. But Chase exceeded expectations by running an incredible 40-yard dash in 4.388 seconds. I kind of surprised myself, Chase said. I was going for a low 4.4. But I did it, I felt confident, I wanted to go out there and put on a show for them. The Dolphins traded back from 3 to 12 and then back up to 6 in the next NFL draft. In an ideal situation, they will have their choice of Chase or Pitts at 6. I wake up one day and it's Kyle Pitts, Daniel Jeremiah of NFL Network said. I wake up the next day and it's Jamar Chase. Because the Dolphins have Mike Jasicki, it might be easier to split hairs and fall on the side of Chase, the receiver. The one thing coach Brian Flores, who was in Gainesville on Wednesday, may want answers to was Chase's decision to opt out of 2020. My decision came off my family, Chase said. I had a lot of stuff going on with my family. I didn't want to play a few games and then opt out. As a sophomore at LSU, Chase posted 1,780 yards and at the time, Chase was only 19 years old. His ceiling seems limitless. He was often the best football player on the field, not just the best receiver, ESPN's Ryan Clark said, during Chase's pro day. Some of the best corners in the SEC were all toasted by this dude. He's mean, he's competitive, and he's a winner, he wants to dominate you. Chase has been compared to players like Larry Fitzgerald, Anquan Boldin, Des Bryant, DK Metcalf and Michael Thomas. He has the potential to be one of the best receivers in the NFL. He's physical, Jeremiah of NFL Network said. He creates separation with his strength, separation and suddenness. He explodes. He'll climb the ladder and go get it. He did it against the best competition. He is the premier receiver in this class. It is possible the Bengals will decide to reunite Chase with his quarterback at LSU, Joe Burrow, with the fifth overall pick. If that, ha if that happens, Miami may have to choose between Pitts or another receiver, such as Devonta Smith of Alabama. Smith was a highly effective college player, and he chose not to opt out of the 2020 season. But he is at least 30 pounds lighter than Chase. Jamar's got a defensive mentality in an offensive body, former Auburn coach Gene Chizik said on the SEC Network. He's got a dog mentality. He wants combat. I see wide shoulders. Powerful lower body. Everything is smooth. It's effortless. Not only physically, it's backed up by numbers. If the Dolphins draft Chase, they could use him outside or inside. They can use him on slants, go routes, comebacks and posts. According to Pro Football Focus, his 24 deep catches in 2019 are the most we've seen in a college season. But Chase is more than a home run threat. He's tough. One of the NFL players Chase has consulted with is former Dolphins receiver Jarvis Ever Jarvis Landry. And LSU coaches have compared Chase's toughness and competitiveness to Landry. My mindset is to dominate, Chase said. I've got to win. Who will be a true Dolphin?